Hello children. This is my first physics class for you in this lockdown period. As per CBSE syllabus, the first chapter in physics is light, reflection and refraction. Means in this chapter, the both the properties will be covered, reflection of light and refraction of light. You have already studied these two properties in the earlier classes. Hmm. For about light, light is a form of energy that produces a sensation of vision. Means we can see the object because of light. Like we can see the blue color of a sky, red color of sun, white color of cloud, green color of leaves and similarly many objects. About the basic characteristics of a light or the properties of light that we all know that Light always travels in a straight line, means it has rectilinear propagation. The speed of light in air is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Light makes the shadow of an op opaque object, means if any opaque object is placed in between the path of the light, it makes its shadow. You have already studied it, these properties of light in the earlier classes. This is only the revision part. Light possesses many properties. Light, the like reflection of light, refraction, dispersion, diffraction, scattering of light. And we will cover first the reflection of light in this unit. Ready. When we drop a ball on a hard surface, it bounces back. You all know that. It happens with the ray of light also. And this phenomenon is actually called reflection of light. So reflection of light. The phenomenon of bouncing back of light in the same medium on striking the surface is called reflection of light. Means when the ray of light is strikes on a surface then it bounces back in the same medium. It doesn't pass the, that medium that surface and this phenomenon is called reflection of light but this reflection takes place in two ways one way that is regular reflection second is diffused reflection hmm. regular reflection of light means when the reflecting surface is smooth smooth surface like the uh, mirror or any plane surface actually the silver metal is the perfect reflector so when the reflecting surface is smooth and well polished, the parallel rays falling on it, the reflected rays are also parallel. And these reflection takes place in one direct particular direction. This type of reflection is called regular reflection. Actually, like this, you, you have observed. Hmm. Regular reflection of light. When the reflecting surface is smooth and plain and well polished and in that surface when the parallel rays of light falling on it, then the reflection takes place in one particular direction. And such type of reflection is called regular reflection. It generally happens like, a play, like the mirror. And we have also observed that like in the steel plate, while the sunlight falls on the steel plate, then it shines. So regular reflection of light makes the surface shine. And, and these, the, all the reflected rays take place in only one particular direction. Here I want to say that from one object, millions of rays are, em uh, are hmm. millions of rays are emitted. Second part is diffused reflection of light. This is the second type of reflection of light. It actually happens with the rough surface or the regular surface. Second type of reflection of light is diffused reflection of light. When this reflecting, when the reflecting surface is rough, generally all type of the surfaces are rough. In this type of the surface, when the parallel rays fall on it, then the reflected rays take different direction and such type of the reflection is called diffused reflection. 
जनरली वी सी द ऑब्जेक्ट बिकॉज ऑफ डिफ्यूज रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट हेयर यू कैन सी द इमेज ऑफ द इंसिडेंट रे एंड द रिफ्लेक्टेड रे हाउ द रिफ्लेक्टेड रेज आर वेरी बिकॉज ऑफ द सर्फेस सो हेयर देर आर टू लॉज ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट ऑल्सो फर्स्ट इज द इंसिडेंट रे इन दिस स्लाइड आई कैन आई कैन एक्सप्लेन क्लियरली फर्स्ट वन इज दिस वन इज इंसिडेंट रे द रे डैट कम्स फ्रॉम द ऑब्जेक्ट वाई दिस इंसिडेंट रे स्ट्राइक्स टू द सर्फेस दिस इज अ मीरर सर्फेस इट इज रिफ्लेक्टेड बैक दिस इज द नॉर्मल एंड इमेजनरी लाइन डैट फॉल्स एट नाइंटी डिग्री ऑन द मीरर so first laws of reflection of light is the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal are all lie on the same plane at the same point of incidence this is the point of incidence and the second law states that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection i is the angle of incidence and r is the angle of reflection i am repeating the laws now the laws are the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal are all lie on the same plane at the same point of incidence the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection here the special case in this in the previous diagram you in the previous diagram you are seeing that the ray of light the incident ray of light falls at an angle but if it falls normally on the surface to the surface like the mirror surface then it bounces back why does it bounce back in the through the same path because while the ray of light falls on the mirror then here the angle of incidence is zero degree because the normal incident ray and the reflected ray are on the are all on the same line so since i is zero degree so r is also zero degree that's why when the ray of light incident normally on the mirror retraces its path on reflection the part is that image actually this reflection of light makes the image while we see our face in front of the mirror or the daily use mirror we see our own face that is actually image but what is image how can we define this image scientifically at the image is formed by the actual or imaginary intersection of the reflected rays when so many reflected rays are coming out from the surface then they meet actually and sometimes they appear to meet and while they appear to meet such point makes the image and there are two types of image real image virtual image the two types of images are first real image second virtual image first real image real image is formed by the actual intersection of the reflected rays means when the rays of light falls on the surface and what the reflected rays meet actually then the real image is formed second the virtual image the virtual image is formed by the imaginary intersection of the reflected ray means the rays are rays do not meet actually they appears to meet behind the mirror so the image this is the real image and the virtual image for for about the differences the differences are very much clear if we say about the differences then the real image and the virtual image the real image is formed by the actual intersection and the virtual image is formed by the imaginary intersection and real image is always inverted with respect to the object and virtual image is erect with respect to the object for example while we see our own face in the 
plane mirror or in the makeup mirror then we see the erect image that image is virtual image and the real image can be obtained on the screen but virtual image cannot be obtained on the screen this is the major point that we can identify which one is real image and which one is virtual image you can write down these differences in your copy